Hello guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to install the new Flex firmware on my FreeSky R9M module and my R9 receivers as well. And at the end of this video I'm also going to do a test flight. For using the Flex firmware you have to make sure that you have updated your Tyrannus to OpenTX 2.2.3. First of all we go to the FreeSky website to download the Flex firmware for our R9M module. Then we also need to download the Flex firmware for our receiver. I'm having the R9MM and the R9 mini receiver. Both receivers are using the same firmware. So I only need to download the firmware from one of those receivers. After downloading the firmware, we can unpack the zip files and then we can copy the files to our Tyrannus. For this I'm switching on my Tyrannus while I'm pressing the two trim switches inwards. After that we can connect the Tyrannus to the computer. Now we have to copy the right firmware file for our R9 module to the firmware folder on the SD card of our Tyrannus. We also need the firmware for the receiver. Here I'm not using the FPOT firmware, I will stay with the SBUS version. If that is done, we can disconnect the Tyrannus from the computer. In the next step, we are going to flash the R9 module. For this, we are long pressing the menu button to enter the radio setup. Then we page over to the SD card. There we have to select the firmware for the R9M module. With long pressing enter, we can select flash external device. While the module is flashing, I'm going to show you how I want to update my receivers. I'm not using the FPOT firmware and so I have not connected the FPOT wire to my FC. I even have powered my receiver over the receiver power pads on my flight controller. So I can't use the pass through update function at all. So for simply updating my receivers, I have built an update wire and I have also soldered a small connector to my receivers on both of my quads. When the flashing of the R9 module is completed, we can unplug the module from the module bay of the Tyrannus. And then we can connect the update wire to the back of the Tyrannus and the receiver as well. After that we switch on the Tyrannus and we can flash the receiver firmware. Now I'm just showing you the flashing and fast forward. It's getting time to go out to the field for a test flight. If you need more detailed information about flashing the receivers, take a look at my other videos about it. Don't forget to rebind your receiver after flashing a new firmware. And here we are out at the field now and I'm flying the Armiton Rooster with the R9MM receiver on the adaptive mode. So the module is switching its output power between 100 mW and 1W. After this flight I will also do a test flight with my other quad to test the redundancy function.
So here we're having the Armaton Rooster with the R9 mini receiver and the XM Plus. There is enabled the internal EU LBT module and the external R9M module on my Tyrannus as well. On this quad I don't have telemetry because of the enabled internal module on my Tyrannus. So here in the OSD I'm showing the RSSI from the RSSI output on channel 16 of the R9 Mini. I have changed the scaling of the RSSI to get a more realistic value. So that's it. The new Flex firmware was working pretty reliable on my first test flights. Enjoy the rest of the flight, thank you for watching and see you on my next video.